Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to bring you our next in our series of Nextcloud and we're going to show you how to install Nextcloud on an Ubuntu 1804 machine. A fresh install. Well, let's get started. All right. Here we go. All right. I have a fresh install that I made from, uh, I'm using DigitalOcean's uh, droplets today. And uh, just so you know, I, I use DigitalOcean for our products, and, and they're they're a great, um, great place to host cloud VMs and, and and virtual machines, or virtual machines and everything. So if you're looking for a place, this is an excellent place to go. Very high reliability. I don't have any troubles with them whatsoever. Um, if you are interested in the description here, there is a link that uh, is a referral link. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, cost you any less or any more, but uh, it does uh, help me out a little bit. So I'd appreciate it if you do that. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with any fresh install, in my opinion, well, actually, before you basically install anything on, on any Linux box, you just want to do a basic update. So we're going to do that first. Whoops. So that's a pretty simple command. Uh, it's just app get update. Uh, you can actually just use app, but I'm in the habit of using app get. And basically that refreshes all the repos and makes sure everything's up and up and going. It's going to read the packages and then you can just do upgrade. And all those packages will get updated. And that'll take just a second. All right. Here we are, we're back again. Now, a couple things is, this is uh, Nextcloud and the current version is 18, I believe. And so, um, if you go to their website, let me just pop this over here real quick. Boom. Here is their docs. Their docs are pretty good. Straightforward, easy to, you can just follow these along. If you're familiar with Linux, uh, Debian, Ubuntu, and there's even a CentOS one here. Uh, it's 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 fairly straightforward, but uh, it, it always helps me personally to see these things just done in real time and, and, and be able to get some of the other little hurdles that, that don't make it into documentation. So we're going to copy this line here first, and basically this installs Apache, uh, MariaDB, which is a MySQL uh, equivalent, and uh, a couple of uh, the uh, PHP for that. So we'll do that. And we'll just paste that in over here. And boom. So a lot of this tutorial is going to be command line stuff. And um, the thing about it, managing Linux boxes, is that you, you're going to have to get comfortable in the command line a little bit. You can do a lot of stuff from webmin and, and things like that. And that's the general, just keeping it up and going and keeping it updated and things like that. But when it comes to installing stuff, it's pretty much 100% command line stuff. The, the bright side is, is that there's a lots of tutorials over there out there to do just about anything you want, including like this one. And so now it is setting up MariaDB. I'll show and I'll copy this over here. Paste this in. And uh, these are basically what we're what we're installing here is a bunch of PHP modules that uh, Nextcloud uses in their installation or in their production. And then we're going to have a second round of PHP stuff. If you, as you'll see here, let's uh, you know, Image Magic is is for for um, making thumbnails and things like that, zip, XML. So a lot of these things are are fairly straightforward as to what they do, but 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 you don't even have to know or care anything about those things. So just install these packages. So running that command just lets you know, hey, this is this is the version of uh, MariaDB that's installed. And in case you're wondering, like anything MariaDB versus MySQL, you basically use the MySQL commands. It's they're, they're almost, I believe, 100% interchangeable. For them, there, there probably is slight differences. But one of the things we want to do is go ahead and secure our MySQL. And 
And so basically this script here runs and just kind of tightens down your, your SQL server just a little bit. <clears throat> and since I don't have a root password yet, we're going to set one. So this is removing anonymous users. This is a good thing to do. Uh, disallowing root login remotely. This is also a good thing to do. Basically what that does is that like as a root MySQL user, you have to be logged into the machine that actually is hosting the database. So if you're from another machine, you can't remotely connect to the database as the root user. And going ahead and removing any test data, test users, uh, and then reload the privilege table and boom, you are there. Okay, so next thing I like to do is you could just straight up use whatever for your for your for your database but I like to create a database and call it like uh, next cloud or something like that um, so let's just go ahead and do that all right so now I'm in my SQL I'm gonna create a database Okay, so that created a database. All right. So we're going to create a user. All right. And uh, you're going to put your own password in here. And I have got that set up over here. Next got users, password. It's just a bunch of stuff. Okay, so basically what you see here is Nextcloud user is the name of the database user, localhost, and this is the password we're going to use for this guy. And boom. So now we're going to grant all privileges on that. Flush the privileges. And we are done inside there. Okay. Now, let's go back and do a couple things to make uh, PHP a little bit more robust. Here we are again, and I've switched over to Putty from the web interface that I was using before and Terminal. Th this will make things a little bit easier, I think. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we need to adjust the memory limit. So control W will give you that memory. And here it is. By default, it's set at 128. Let's go ahead and bump that up for the purposes of this to 512. That'll, that'll give us a little bit more room in this operation. So we're also going to go to the upload file size. So right here, it's the max is two meg. Um, I don't know if you've uploaded anything lately, but two meg just doesn't cut it. We're going to change that to 500 meg. So if you need something bigger than that, then you know obviously we'll need to upload, change that. To a larger number. Okay, post. Oops. Post max. So the post max size is set at 8 meg. And again, we're going to change this one to 500 also. And max so the max execution time 
this one's kind of an important one too. So like if you're doing something and and you need it to, um, you don't want it to time out. So we'll bump this guy up to 300 from 30. Now, these are just my basic recommendations. Your mileage may vary and you want to change those to match what or fits your actual needs. <clears throat> so here you can change this to whatever time zone you are or in by default for PHP and America Chicago that, that works for me you will have to pick whatever fits for you okay so let's just uh, control X that and save it and that we've done that let's go ahead and restart Apache or start Apache MariaDB enable all right so there you have it there is our Apache up and running okay now we're going to go to Nextcloud and go ahead and get this download for server. And then you got web installer appliances and archive file. So I'm going to do the download this guy right here. And I'm actually going to copy that link. Go back over here and do a wget. We didn't install unzip. Hey, we missed a few things. Okay, so I missed them. There we go. <laughs> unzip is installed that time. You'll see we have the next cloud there. And basically what we need to do is copy that next cloud folder to our document root for your web server. And in this particular case, um, so there it is, var www.html. It's typical for an Ubuntu or a, a Debian box. So we just do a cp r next cloud slash var dub dub and I'm going to put it in this HTML. Just one second here. Now you could do a move command also, and that would just use MV instead of the CP, and, and that will put everything over. Uh, we'll just move everything rather than make a copy. So you also want to do a uh, ch ch own. So you want uh, the web server to own the files there, and you do this by this command. And basically, you got the dash r is recurs recursive owner and group ww data. There we go. And then I also want to ch mod it to give some per the uh, per permissions and that'll get you there we need to make a Apache virtual host for this and so basically all you need to do that is create a next cloud config and we're going to use nano again my preferred simple text editor and there you go it's a blank file and I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff in here and I will talk to you just a wee bit about it afterwards. Oops. All right. So this is the virtual host. Basically it'll do it on anything. And then this, that's what this right here, 80 port 80 server admin document root server name, alias, uh, some of these other things here. So, but in our particular case, what we need to do is you need to update this stuff right here. And I named 
my machine cloud demo IT services St. Charles it's a mouthful but it's a domain I have all right and so you can just say that let's get a couple other Apache things we got to enable the website there it is enable rewrite these other ones headers all right now let's do a restart of Apache let's go back and let's reload this guy and looky there there's our base install of Nextcloud and it's asking you to do all this stuff but before we go on with that we're gonna a couple more things that we need to do here we're gonna talk about let's encrypt so you have a secure connection Nextcloud um, and, and let's encrypt you can get a free certificate as long as you own the domain obviously I'm connected to the right domain uh, so that's great and I highly recommend it because you don't want your stuff out there plain text so let's get that going here's what we got here and we need to change this to the right domain the correct one cloud dash demo and there This last question here is no redirect or redirect. Um, so basically, if you select two, it'll redirect all connections to HTTPS. In this case, you probably really do want that. And honestly, you should be uh, moving towards HTTPS in every way you can. So we're going to go ahead and hit two and do that. And boom. Now, if I reload this page, you will see that it redirect it to me HTTPS so here we're going to create the cloud an admin account we're in a database and all this other stuff so let's get that in I've got some predefined stuff Okay, so I've got my admin account, the location of the data folder, are my database information, and I have this checked here to go ahead and install calendar, contacts, talk, mail, and only office. So there you have it. This will uh, this will take just a second to install that, and I just wanted to bring your attention to. Uh, my YouTube channel, if you like this type of uh, tutorials and some of the other stuff I've been doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that uh, like button also, maybe uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified when uh, my next videos come out. All right, there we go. Recommended apps are installing. And also, I'll put a link in the uh, sh this uh, video for my previous Nextcloud video, which was an overview of the Nextcloud interface. So if you haven't seen that and you, you want to know more about what Nextcloud is and what it can do for you, go ahead and check that video out. Okay. All right. So we're installing calendar, the document server, contacts, mail, only office, and talk. And that should be done here shortly. Ta-da! <laughs> there you have it. Nextcloud is installed. Okay, so real quick here, you've got everything in here, files, photos, activity, mail, contacts, calendar, and you can go over here and you can go to settings and you can see about your machine that you did here. Uh, look at system. 
here we are and that's that's all we have that that's how you install nextcloud and stay tuned for our next video on nextcloud where we do some interesting things with it with the storage thanks for joining me